Hey, first graders. Okay, we're going to do another book illustrated by Eric Carle. And just like the greedy um, Python, this one is written by Richard Buckley and then Eric Carle did the pictures. And this time it's The Foolish Tortoise. A tortoise, tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go. Took off his large and heavy shell and left it lying where it fell. Hooray, he cried, now I've been freed. I'll see the world at double speed. Do you think it was a good idea? What does it mean to be foolish? How will we see? that he is foolish. Though faster he was not express and his protection was far less. He didn't have that shell to protect him. So when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept beneath a stone. A hungry bird came swooping past. He looked so fierce and flew so fast. The tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak beneath his knees. So there he is hiding behind the stone and behind the tree. Hmm. So he has to keep finding places to hide. Huh. I don't feel safe. There's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the river riverbed. A fish swam up. The tortoise fled. Along his way our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. A hare, a hound, a horse raced by. So rapidly they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped, <gasps> sat googly-eyed. I've never been that quick, he sighed. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. The wind rose up and soon the breeze was bending branches in the trees. The tortoise shivered, now I'm cold. Oh, I wish I hadn't been so bold. There he is. Shivering. Shivering in the wind. He's wet and it's windy. I think I've lost my urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight... He climbed back in and said, good night. And that's the end. Do you think that the tortoise learned that it was better to have his protection than it was to try to do things that he knew wasn't a good choice? I think he learned that it's better to make the right choice, don't you? Okay. Thank you so much for being here and reading with me. I sure love sharing these stories with you. Have a great day. Bye.